So if you're looking at the Workspace ONE Boxer application, you're going to include uh, the Email tab, the Calendars tab, the Files tab, Contacts, and Settings. And each of these tabs are going to give you some capability inside the app itself. So what we've done here is we've broken these down by different topics, and we're going to help you navigate through this application. This is probably the first time you're using it on this device, and we want to make sure it's easy for you to get started. One of the features that I'd like to point out is Quick, quick Reply in Messages. And Quick Reply is great for when you're on the go or you don't have a long time to write out an email message. You can just basically glance at the email, and then you can choose a message that's already been pre-configured in the app. Now, this could be something very quickly, like I'll get back to you shortly, or I can't talk right now. If you want to create a custom message, feel free to do so. You can do that within the Settings tab. So if we look at the device, you can see if we open up the Boxer application, here's my inbox for emails. Across the bottom, you can see that there's a Mail tab. And when I have the Mail tab selected, you can see that I have a new email. So I can click on this new email, and if I want to uh, have a reply here, then I can just quickly do a quick reply. And I can say, yes, no, thanks. I'll get back to you soon. So I'll choose get back to you soon. And then I can go ahead and send that message off. And again, remember that I can create a custom message if I would like to do so. So if you want to create a custom message, we can go to Settings. And then we can go to Quick Templates. I can click the Edit icon. And I could either modify one of these messages or I could create a new one. So we have two different types of contacts within Workspace ONE Boxer. Now you could use uh, personal contacts, which are stored locally on the device, and that shows up inside the Contacts tab. Or you might actually need to search your directory, your global contacts list in your organization. Now we call this the Gal Search. This is the global address list. And uh, let me just show you. If we go to our device, I can create a new email. And in the To tab, I can start typing a user's name. Now, maybe this is someone who I've been told to contact, but I have not had an interaction with them in the past. I can then search our global address list, and then I can quickly locate that uh, user, and then I can add them to the email. Now, again, this is not stored locally on the device. This is pulling from a global address list provided by my organization. We have multiple gestures in the Workspace ONE Boxer application. Now, this allows me to navigate through the UI very quickly. So what about some of these features that you use all the time, like archiving a message, deleting a message, moving a message? Well, we want to make sure that you can do that within a couple of touches. So these swipes allow you to create actions and configure actions that you can do very quickly. So what if I want to move an email uh, directly to a specific folder? I can have a long swipe or a short swipe that will complete that action. Now, there's some default ones that are configured, like delete and archive but you can add some new ones in this interaction as well. So if we take a look at that on the device, right now, if I do a short swipe to the left, it will delete the message. If I do a long swipe, then it'll go to a more option. And that will allow me to complete certain items such as move the message to a junk email or maybe to a custom box. If I swipe to the right here, I can do an archive, or I can go to more actions as well. And these more actions could be a quick message, it could move, it could mark it as spam. And all this is configured in your settings. So if we go to our settings, we can go to swipe actions, and it shows here exactly what a long, short, left, right, etc. will do in the application. So all this configurable, um, it allows you to have a very quick interaction with our application. If you are trying to quickly move a message, you can do so with the swipe instead of going through a series of menu options. We have bulk actions that allow you to select multiple messages at once and then perform an action. Um, so maybe I have one sender and I want to move all of those emails over to a specific folder. I can select that sender, and then I can highlight all the emails from that one person and then move them. Likewise, if I want to archive or delete a specific message or a group of messages, I can do so with bulk actions. This just makes it easier for you when you're trying to move or 
manipulate multiple messages at the same time. So let's take a look at that in the device. If I have a message here from this uh, first sender here, I can do a select. I can just click, uh, do a long press or click on the icon to the left of the user's name. And then I can click select, and then I can select all from sender. And that highlights all the messages. I can then do a swipe over to the right, and then I can perform a bulk action. Now, likewise, I can select multiple senders here under different users, and I can perform a bulk action that way as well. You're going to want to change your default email signature within Workspace One Boxer. By default, it says Workspace One Boxer or sent from Workspace One Boxer. Uh, you'll change that on the device inside the Settings tab. Now, this isn't going to replace an email sig signature on other devices, but you'll have a unique one on this device. Now, alternatively, you could just copy and paste an email signature you already have uh, into this application as well. Let's take a look on how to do that on this application. So if we go over to the device, we can click on Settings. And then we click on the account. This one is Office 365. And you can click on Signature. And you can see here that there's an HTML Enable tab. I can enable that for iOS devices. Uh, right now, we just don't have that capability with Android devices. And I can copy and paste or create and generate a new email signature right here. So instead of sent from, I could then just uh, paste or I could type in my name. And you can see that I, I can go ahead and save that. And then that will show up when I create or generate a new email message. So at the bottom, you can see this new signature. And this will be independent from my other signatures. This will be reflective of this device. The external address highlight feature allows you to quickly identify external email addresses that are not in your organization. So that could be a security feature. What if I'm uh, replying to a group of senders with some confidential information in the email, and one of the senders is from an outside vendor? Well, I want to see that highlighted, and I want it to jump out at me before I send that confidential information out. So the way that we can do that is we can configure that into the, in the settings. So let's take a look at the settings of the Boxer app. And if I uh, tap on the More option, I can go to External Addresses. And there's an option here to confirm before sending. Now, if I confirm before sending, I can, uh, or my company can designate email addresses that are external. And you can see here that it will highlight it red. And if you happen to be colorblind, there's a little dot that's next to that external email address that will allow you to, to know that it's an external sender as well. Now, this doesn't happen until you actually compose the message. Uh, so you'll see it when you hit Reply. And before you reply, you'll see the external senders as long as this feature is activated. Let's take a look at what this feature would look like. So let's pick a message on the device. And if I click Reply, uh, let's add an external user here. And you can see that it's highlighted in red with that red dot right there. So if I were to uh, disclose some confidential information, I know that uh, there's a user within my organization, but there's also an external user in this reply to field as well. So you can see that's very easy to see. It, it kind of jumps out me, jumps out at me as a highlighted user. This user is not uh, going to be in my organization. And just maybe I want to uh, not reveal confidential information to this person. So I will cancel this one out. I'm not going to send her an email. Uh, but this feature is an extra layer of security when sending emails out. 